Hello, and welcome to Morse's Math Morsels. This question is, what is the least common multiple, abbreviated LCM, of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? That is, the first 10 uh, counting numbers. And you may recognize these from the times tables from the elementary school where there were these numbers as headings and all their multiples uh, up to 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, etc. listed beneath in nice neat columns. And you probably noticed that among the 10 times 10 time, times tables, for example, uh, certain numbers appeared uh, 3 or 4 or maybe 5 times. You may have seen 12 and 24 and 60, for instance, several times. But you probably have not seen a number that was in all 10 of these times tables. Is there such a number? Yes, there is. You could find it by a trial and error. Just extend the tables far enough and you'll find that least common multiple, that common entry in all 10 of those tables. But that number is in the thousands. So that could be very tedious and time consuming. Is there a quicker, better way? Well, uh, here is one method to find that least common multiple. There are several others. Uh, this is a, one method I wanted to demonstrate for the fun of it. I'm going to begin with one. That's a trivial case, one, because that is in the times tables of every whole number. How about two? Two is an even number. So, so far, a 2 is its own multiple, along with 1. How about 2 with 3? What's the least number that's in the times tables of 2 and 3? If you count by 2s, you'll reach 6. If you start at 3, add 3, you get 6 already. So for 2 and 3, uh, we have 6 so far. How about 6 and 4? What is their least common multiple? Well, if you add some 6's, uh, you'll get 6 and then 12, and if you start adding by 4's, you'll go 4, 8, 12. So uh, 4 will lead to uh, 12, and uh, uh, 12 equals uh, their least common multiple. So far, so good. For 2, 3, and 4, that is... How about 5? Well, 12 does not end in 0 or 5, and all multiples of 5 must end in one of those two digits, 0 or 5. So I must multiply this 12 by 5, which will yield 60. And we have 60 as the least common multiple from 1 through 5. I'm up for 6. Well, if you compare 6 and 60, well, 60 is just 6 times 10. It's just a 6 with a 0 on the end. So our LCM is still 60. So far, so good as we move along to the upper half of the times tables further. How about 7? Is 60 a multiple of 7? Well, we didn't come across anything looking like a 7 before, so we need to multiply this by 7 to ensure this is in the 7 times tables. We are up to 420. Is our least common multiple or for 1 through 7? And how about 8? I'm going to fix this arrow here and go out to the right a bit more. Can we divide 420 by 8 evenly? Nope. 420 is a multiple of 4 but not of 8. And 8 equals 4 times 2. Make a little notation here. All we need is another factor of 2, multiply 4 to 20 by, and that gives 840. Oh, there's our LCM for 1 through 8. Are we done yet? Not quite. Is 840 a multiple of 9? Add the digits. 8 plus 4 plus 0 make 12. But 12 is a multiple of 3, but not of 9. You can only have a multiple of 9 if the sum of the digits is 9, or a multiple of 9. 
It is a multiple of 3, because the digits add up to a multiple of 3. So in order to make this a multiple of 9, whereas 9 equals 3 times 3, you must multiply that 840 by 3. Uh, yield 2520. And finally, our 10. Is 2520 multiple of 10? Yes. As it ends in zero. And in fact, we have found our grand answer, least common multiple, 1 through 10, is 2,520. I told it was in the thousands. It's a long ways out in some of those times tables, but there it is. Thanks for viewing.